All right, guys, what's going on? We're uh, getting the truck loaded down. Uh, about to head out to South Dakota. We've got some meat to take with. Got the rifles, my hunting stuff, uh, some water, some random shotgun shells. The Yeti, which the meat will go in. And then... Got my grunt call rattling antlers and um, uh, range finder in that. Got the ammo bag. And then got some luggage in there. And we're picking uh, picking John Epley up at the airport at uh, 8:30 in Sioux Falls. He's flying from Indy. There's been an ep. So uh, we're we're gonna be taking off here and we're gonna be picking him up. So I'll, I'll probably get some footage of the road, us driving and whatnot, see if we can get some cool shots. And then I will probably pick you guys back up in Sioux Falls, which is about a seven hour drive from here. So uh, we have four tags for this weekend. So it's gonna get interesting. I got I have two white tail tags and then Jake has two any deer tags, so that's mule deer included. Uh, we don't get a whole bunch of mule deer on our property, uh, but while we were out pheasant hunting for pheasant opener, we actually did see two mule deer, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so, looking forward to this trip, and we'll see what we can pull home. Let's go, boys. Big Hoss is in town! Let's go! <laughs> Hello. Could I get uh, two stay quesadillas? All right. We made it to the house. Mr. Jeffley. Yeah. Ready to roll. I don't know why it's not focusing. Um, Jake's sweeping. What's up? Is that your old? Jeffley. Um, I would assume so. But it is 12... 27 and we are getting up at 6 a.m. to kill some deer so figured I'd give you guys a little update there's oh, fucking should I get that out? there's the rifles got the AR-15 and the Desert Eagle in there shotguns in case we see some pheasants ammo bag right there that was basically it so uh, I will pick you guys up in the AM uh, before we head out. So, but until then, what's up, guys? It is approximately 6:30 in the morning. Uh, well, getting ready right now. Uh, sunrise is at 7:39, so shooting light is. 7.09, so we're about to uh, take off, uh, get out in the fields, so we're going to do a little glass and start off, and hopefully put a little stalk on one of these deer, uh, but I'll have the camera in the truck, so I'll try and show you guys anything, I'm fucking exhausted, um, but I'll pick you guys back up in the truck. All right, well, we made it to the truck. Uh, right now we're doing a little glassing. There's John and Jake. Um, got, what did I just put them? Binoculars, range finder, grunt call. But it's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a tad bit foggy out this morning. Can't really see shit. So hopefully the flog ends up going away soon, and uh, the deer start moving. Let's keep you guys updated. That thing is fucking stupid. All right, quick update. Uh, we changed locations. Uh, right now we're sitting right by a tree line, uh, kind of right there. Pussy. Jeppley, Jake, Peter. and then we're on FaceTime with Colin. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oops. 
We've seen two deer so far. Uh, one within 15 minutes of our sit, and then I don't know when the second one was. About two hours in? Two hours in. But we had fog for the first <laughs> two hours, and so we couldn't see. Pardon my French, we couldn't see fucking shit. But, uh. Colin, shut the hell up. Um. So, uh, I tried to get footage of the first deer, but it was too foggy. Couldn't see anything. So, but, uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated if we see anything and try and get a video of it. Alright, so this is where we're camped up right now. John, got the rifle, binoculars. There's Jake. He's also got a 338. So, we just, three deer were right over there. Two does and a big buck. So, uh, we got the camera set up right here. We'll be able to get footage of whatever we shoot. So, uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon. It's kind of hard to see, but that deer oh my God, in there has got one antler. Well, you got two tags. So Good fucking shot, John. Good shot. It's down. It's down. Good fucking shot, John. Oh my god. Yo, you cut yourself with the skull. Face? Yeah, you're fucking bleeding. Holy shit. <laughs> just a quick recap of what just happened. Um, John shot a deer 301 yards. His first deer ever. And so we, he shot it. We saw it kick. It's kind of hard to see in the footage before that, but we zoom in on it. Deer kicks, walks a little bit, and then falls. And we don't see it. We figured it went down. We're like, hell yeah, whatever. We gave it a little bit, 15, 20 minutes, got in the truck, drove to where the deer fell, and the deer was not there. So we're like, all right. So we started comb combing the cornfield. Still could not come up with the deer, um, and we ended up not finding it. And so we came back, looked at the footage, and John definitely hit it. So now we're all shook. John, do you have any yeah. thoughts on this heart, experience? Heart, heartbreak city, heartbreak city here in Gann Valley. You know, thought 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 we bagged bagged a nice doe, but you know that's that's why why we get another opportunity to get up bright and early and get after it tomorrow. Just a little added motivation for the boys here. So we're gonna be. I mean, I, I would hate if, if the if the deer weren't scared today. They're sure as hell should be scared for tomorrow because we're gonna be getting after it. <laughs> Jake, any closing thoughts? Uh, I mean, it was a great day. We saw probably what did you guys think? Like nine deer, something like that. Um, Might have seen a few duos in there, or uh, not duos. Sorry, a few of the same uh, deer, but whatever. We it was you know deer were moving today. Uh, hopefully, better luck tomorrow. Uh, we decided we're basically going to shoot whatever the fuck we see. So, you know, scopes on them and triggers ready. Hopefully a successful day. All right, so we're going to cook dinner and then might head out, look for it again, um, just to double check. But we didn't find blood, didn't find anything like that, which is mind-blowing. I mean, you get hit with a 30 out 6 you sure shit aren't going far, so... But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, catch up with you tomorrow and uh, hopefully have some better luck. All right, quick update. Uh, it is 9.30, um, Saturday, opening day, and we are at a hospital. <laughs> Johnny boy sliced his face open. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, quick update before we... Uh, Call it for the night. John did in fact have to get his forehead glued. 
So, <laughs> yep, injuries happen. And uh, John, what'd you say? The deer are gonna. Um, I said when a man faces challenges in the wild, things don't always go according to plan. But what's important is you get right back up in the saddle, and we'll see you at. 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. A lesser man may have packed his bags already. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, the deer are going to regret this one. <coughs> Lead will be flying. If it's brown, it's down. Have that's a good night. Nice. Alright, it is second day of rifle season here in South Dakota. Um, it's about 6 a.m. No, it's about 6.20 something a.m. Um, we're going to be sitting on that berm again. However, it is extremely cold. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to fiddle with the camera. So I'm going to leave you guys here until after lunch, after it gets a lot warmer. So if anything happens, I'll come back to the house, pick the camera up. Um... But honestly, I just kind of want to focus on the hunt. So, we got some redemption to do this morning. Let's get one down. Alright, well, the clip before said that we weren't taking it because it was too cold. Well, we done did something. Look at that. I, uh, we sat the same spot we did yesterday, that little berm. Uh, shooting light rolls around, I can run three times, and I mean within 15 seconds. This buck is his head down, and he's looking for something. Uh, Jake ended up taking a shot at him about four yards. I'll include pictures of this video. Uh, nice nine point buck. This is Jake's first ever deer. Um, I'm gonna all gut it out. I'm gonna hang it for a little bit. Jake, any thoughts on the deer? Saw it walking up, scoped in on it, saw its rack, and George gave me the green light, so I uh, pulled the trigger. Feeling great about it, first deer ever. Um, couldn't have asked for a better first deer. There's Jake's noise for me getting gutted. Took us a while, but we got it. Had some difficulties. Jake's gonna, that's probably when you shit right now for you guys, but. Jake's gonna come into the house for a little bit. Me and him are going back out. We got some good deer to slaughter. So, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring the camera with. Uh, it's gonna get a little windy, so that's gonna be bad for audio. But one deer down. We got three to go. Down, three to go. We shot this at first light, so we got all day to hunt. So. Uh, All right, wrapping up day number two. Uh, successful day of hunting. Two deer down, not only two deer down, two bucks down. Jake with one in the AM at first shooting light, and then John just shot one about an hour ago, which we got back here. Um, there's John's. Of course, we didn't get any on camera. Jake's was, was cold as shit. This morning I didn't really want to bring out the camera and fiddle with it. Uh, we were kind of in kill mode um, after the tough night we had after the first first night of hunting. Um, and John's we didn't get on camera because we split up and I kept the camera. John and Jake were going to a different spot. Ended up doing a spot and stalk on this buck. Took it out. So, got neither of those on camera. But, you know, we got the bucks to prove it. So, that's all that matters. Uh... Last day of hunting tomorrow, so we're gonna hit it pretty hard. Uh, we got two tags to fill, but.
but uh, we're gonna get back. We gotta dress John's deer. So let's just show you guys some of that. Um, but we'll uh, finish the day off with a little, little end of day discussion. So uh, catch you then. All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, end of day two. Uh, we definitely redeemed ourselves today with two bucks. Jake shot one, and John shot the other. Um, you want to talk about your buck? Yeah, so basically we, we were up and at him pretty early this morning, uh, headed out to the spot we've been hanging around. Uh, it's probably like, what, 150 yards, 175 yards from this tree line. Uh, so we set up shop around there, laying down. Um, George does a little grunt call and out walks his deer. Uh, put it down on the scope and realized it was a buck and he got probably 60 yards in front of me and uh, laid him down. First year ever, uh, couldn't have been happier doing it with a great group of guys. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a wonderful day and I look forward to tomorrow too, last day in South Dakota for the season. Yeah, we, uh, me and Georgie were spotting and stalking uh, doe <laughs> out, in, uh, out in the field and ended up spooking it right before Either one of us takes shots, so we split up uh, to finish off tonight. And me and Jake were headed back to our spot, and we spotted one from the road, um, kind of off in the cornfield. So we got out to spot stock, uh, crept up on it, got within a uh, pretty good range, and took the shot. Got it in the neck. Um, just awesome, man. My first buck. Um, just could I mean couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to come out here with man it's just been it's been an awesome weekend and can't wait to to get back out there tomorrow and see what we can do on our SA. Wow. And what sucks is this morning and you probably heard it in the clip earlier, uh, but I did not bring the camera along uh, because it was freezing out and I really didn't want to have to deal with that, which sucks because within five minutes of shooting light Jake dropped that buck from 60 yards, um, and then I had the camera when John and Jake went on their spot and stalk, so I didn't get that on video either, um, but we still have, we filled our two buck tags, we still have two doe tags left, um, and tomorrow's our last day of hunting, and the way things have been going, uh, there's a good chance we fill both tags, so... <sighs> Well, we're signing off for tonight, uh, but we will pick you guys up tomorrow, and we'll be filming all day tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be able to get one of these kills on, on camera because it kind of sucks that we haven't. <laughs> uh, but we do have the deer to show for it, yeah. so I guess that's all that matters. Um, but, yeah, we'll pick you guys up tomorrow. Lose. Day three, last day of hunting. It was approximately 6.30. We have two doe tags left to fill, so we're going to hit it pretty hard. Um, we'll have the camera along with, and then I think we're going to go sit the spot we sat where John and I went on that spot and stalk on that doe in the field, right in that area, um, see what we can turn up, and probably hit the berm and the tree line later so we'll pick you guys up out there
Let's go! Boys, I did something. My dear, we think Jake hit another one, so we're gonna go try and track that, but no, for sure that came down. Let's, uh, let's flip around here, let's go find, we can find us another deer. Ooh. Look at that, Ooh, some blood. The blood trail. I apologize for the audio, it may be a bit windy, but, you know, we're in the outdoors, people. We're not some of you couch warriors, like Big Hawk John Epley would say. Well, it's blatant, it didn't... Surprised it made it this far. Look at this. You can just see it on the alfalfa. Alright. Oh, whoo! The boys are tagged out in South Dakota. Let's fucking go! South Dakota deer season. Woo! We are tagged out after no deer first day. We clapped two bucks yesterday two does within a minute of each other 30 seconds absolutely insane oh, we'll get these bad boys cleaned up oh we gotta go walk back to the truck first we did i think john got some video of it but we went on a fucking a pretty big fucking spot stock so we got a ways to go back to the truck we trudged like 150 yards i was trying to be as quiet as possible do you think it was more oh yeah Oh god. My sense well, it was, of uh, it was distance two, it is was, fucked up. It was over right now. It was almost three hundred yards from where we shot to here. Oh well I meant to where our we Oh shot, yeah. But yeah, we're tagged out. Four deer. And well, I guess it's three days, but two days of took us two days. Two and one ace day. Two and one ace day. <laughs> yeah, it's uh what time is it? No, it was eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Awesome. That's, how, that's how it's done in South Dakota. Absolutely awesome, man. All right, we're, we're going to go get the truck, get these deer picked up, and we'll uh, meet you guys back at the house. All right. <clears throat> we got deer loaded down. Oh, boy. Blood. This is what, uh, pulled the deer back here. Just picked them up. A bunch of blood. Now we're going to. Uh, now we're gonna go clean these guys. Catch up with the guys at the house. Little celebratory lunch at the South Dakota's biggest hidden gem. Diddy Diner. Do why Diddy? What's going on, guys? This is the final late night discussion with the boys. Uh, our trip. We'll come to an end tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So, figured we just 
end the video here. Uh, we're about to go to a guy named Saul's house. Uh, not quite sure where it is, but we're going to find it. We have directions. And uh, pick up some pickles from him. Buying jars of pickles. <laughs> then, world famous. World famous. And then I think we're going to head into Wessington Springs. Um, grab dinner, some drinks, maybe stop at the Legion. Get obliterated. Drive. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not gonna drive drunk, but <laughs> maybe get obliterated. Drop that one out. Uh, uh, so yeah, we finished the trip with four out of four tags filled. So we tagged out and shot the last two this morning, as you saw in the clips before, uh, which was nice. Kind of had the entire day to relax. John took a nap. I edited this video. Jake just kind of sat there. <laughs> so uh, these Bud Lights weren't going to drink themselves. Yeah. So overall, I mean, phenomenal trip. Uh, you boys want to give any last words? Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I got awesome trip. Uh, first ever hunting trip for me. You know, a little bit of a little bit of a tough start there, missing that deer and, and, and getting a little. Little scope action to the face, but uh, bounced back in a big way the last couple of days. So thank you to these two guys for bringing me. I had so much fun, and I can't wait to, to come back out next year. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. Um, I uh, I still kind of have that first year feeling, and uh, it was I don't know, kind of at a loss of words for it. It was my first year, uh, as long as. Uh, as well as John's first deer, and there's really nothing like that first deer feeling. Um, able to get that doe today too, which was nice, kind of the icing on the cake. Couldn't, could not have asked for a better group of guys to be here with, and uh, super excited for, for next year. Would have liked to maybe get some pheasants too this trip around, but man, it's tired stalking, stalking and walking, um, and so, we're, we're hoping for a good rest of the, the night tonight and back home tomorrow. So we'll get the deer home, get them processed. I'll probably get my buck mounted just because it's my first buck and uh, like the way he looks. So I think John's doing a Euro mount. Yep. Appreciate you guys tagging along with us once again. Really happy John came with us. Um, I hadn't been deer hunting in forever and this is my first deer I actually first two deer I've ever shot and uh, glad that everybody on this trip got a chance to shoot a deer and uh, we look forward to coming out next year doing the same thing hoping for another great result so yeah all right stay tuned we'll have some duck hunting videos coming out definitely some more uh, Illinois bow hunts uh, so it'll be a, a video filled meat filled killing filled winter so uh freezers are gonna be full freezers are gonna That's be real sure. full yeah. so uh catch you guys next year adios